Hello, Halloween Scenesters, and welcome back to Halloween Scene, my YouTube page. I'm TJ Deach, and I am counting down towards Halloween with the Pocket Pop 13-day spooky countdown calendar from Funko. This gives you uh, little itty-bitty pops that are about this big. Today's the second day that I'm doing it. As I mentioned yesterday, I am starting with October 1st, getting through the 13th. Actually, it'll go past that because I'm not going to be doing this on the weekends, so that'll make it last a little bit longer, but I am uh, using these little guys to help celebrate the season. Yesterday, I got Mr. Kruger here, looking pretty dope, as the kids say, and now I'm going to open up the second one. Now, I don't know what's in here. I haven't looked at anything online. I've been trying to ignore even seeing these guys all around, although that's six of them, so I guess I know some of the people that are going to show up in this, which is well, kind of a bummer, but... They're all pretty cool, and I like them, so we will see what's up. Um, all right, let's get into it. As I said yesterday, I'm really doing these one at a time to try and make uh, Halloween a little brighter this year, this October, which is weird. So, again, there is a slip-off box top thingy, and then we open the gates. Boom, there we go. As you can see, one is done. Mr. Kruger was in there like that so much all right so number two let's do it pop it in the box pulling this one out and again red bag very ominous very appropriate given these characters and their tendency to let blood all right let's see who we got Oh, this is awesome. It's Lydia from Beetlejuice in her wedding outfit. And I don't know if you can tell, her her veil is kind of uh, translucent -y back here, which is awesome. This is a huge surprise, because like I said, I didn't know what was going to be in here. And as it happens, Beetlejuice is one of my all-time favorite movies. I don't know if you can see back here. Right here is a Beetlejuice Burger King Kids Club giveaway toy and then right above him is the NECA Beetlejuice toy which is one of the best toys I've ever gotten I love when they perfectly represent what you like about a character and this is just I mean it's not overly posable but I mean it's not like Beetlejuice was doing parkour or anything comes out he's got the hands he's got snakes it's got that classic suit I was actually Beetlejuice for Halloween one year um, I have this suit actually here. We we brought it home last time we visited my parents' house back in Michigan. And I had this mask that was part of the toy line from the 90s where you would um, push a, a thing and it would send air up into the mask and then it would open up like this and have little cartoony snakes. Just like that scene in the movie where he does that. So this is one of my favorite movies. Tim Burton's fantastic. He was probably the first director that I started... Um, following his career and understanding who he was and what his kind of style was well before I was doing that with anybody else as like a little kid. Um, and, you know, this is Winona Ryder, of course, from that film. She's so good and relatable. I mean, if you were ever kind of an awkward, weird kid, like, how could you not relate to Lydia? Um, of course, marrying a ghost is kind of a strange thing, but she was doing it for her family. Um, I didn't even know this existed in the bigger form. I'm not to date on collectibles as I used to be. Um, I don't. It, you guys probably don't know who I am, but I used to work at Wizard back in the day, and then I worked at Toy Fair for a while. And um, that's where I kind of got a lot of the toys I have around me, but also learned a lot more about a lot of these companies, including Funko. They were still kind of coming up into the pop zone when I was working at Toy Fair, and so it was kind of cool to see them rise a little bit, and now they're like one of the, feels like one of the most popular toy brands around. Um, but yeah, this is super awesome. I can't wait to put her over there with the other Beetlejuices. I have, um, I just have a real love for this movie. I actually showed it to my daughter, who was eight at the time, I think, and she was into it. There were a few parts that I'd forgotten about, a couple F-bombs and whatnot that, uh, I should have blocked out, but I don't know if she even really noticed it, and a few other things like, you know, how there's randomly a strip club in the middle of uh, Adam's model and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, a few things that I, I you know, coughed over or, or tried to avoid and wasn't super fun explaining. But I think that's a great movie. 
Um, it's a great gateway movie for horror. Um, that's what it was to me. I mean, long before I was a horror fan, I loved Beetlejuice. And uh, a funny story, because I my kids saw that I did this YouTube thing and were like, one of them said, oh, I stopped watching when I saw Pennywise. So I guess he's on the box or some somewhere, um, which made me laugh a little bit. They don't really go in for horror stuff or scary stuff at all. They've watched Hocus Pocus and we watched the Halloween Town movies on Disney, which are fun. But, um, like I said, I was a fan of Beetlejuice, and I rem I've never been able to find this. There's a clip. There was a show when I was a kid, and it was like a special. I want to say it was on, like, Nickelodeon or something, where it was like a talk show, but they had a lot of the ghosts from Beetlejuice on, including the guy that got run over by a truck who's super flat and is, uh, you know, in the office uh, of the netherworld, that place. And I had nightmares for what felt like weeks. I don't really know how long it lasted. Um, but just seeing those ghosts, I hadn't seen the movie yet. And so they were super spooky to me and freaked me out. Um, and that was out of the context of the film, which I think is funny and scary in a great way. So that was cool. Um, I also was a big fan of the cartoon. I, As I mentioned, I dressed up as Beetlejuice for Halloween. I have a bunch of the toys in the garage. Maybe I can do a cool... Um, retro video toy review of those if i can dig them up and uh my kids have actually enjoyed playing with those toys because they have some cool action features which are fun um so yeah i i'm overjoyed to be getting this one it's nice to be surprised on day two i mean just looking at the front of this you've got uh, freddy krueger beetlejuice in his tour guide hat um uh, jack torrance from the shining and reagan from um, the Exorcist, that's just the ones on the back here, and then on the front you have all those same people, but there's, yeah, there's Pennywise, that's the one that scared my son, and there's Jason, uh, kind of a little bit bummed out about that one, because as you will find out when we do get to him, I already have the bigger version of him back over there, uh, but it'll be kind of cute to see them together, I guess. So, I guess that's going to wrap up this episode of Halloween Scene, day two of the Funko Spooky Countdown calendar box which has been a great big big fun surprise i love this can't wait to put it over there and uh like i said i'm gonna skip the weekend because it's gonna be just too difficult to post and i hope everybody's out enjoying some some semblance of of normalcy on the weekends if possible um so i'm gonna wrap this up weekend stay safe wear a mask and um be righteous to each other bye